here they come at the Meadowlands. And they're off. Hello everyone, Wendy Ross for U.S. Trotting. Hamiltonian Week rolls on this morning. We're at Legend Farm catching up with trainer Aki Svensson and his two talented fillies. Of course, Jiggy Jaw guests, one of the fillies going into the Hamiltonian to take on the boys and the other baptism who goes into the Hamiltonian Oaks. Captain Corey, Aki Svensson is Captain Hamiltonian, Captain Corey. Now with trainer Aki Spencer, Aki Hamiltonian time always a, a great time of year for you guys. Have been in it consistently since you guys have made the move to US. It seems like many moons ago. This time of year, it always kind of has has a great feeling about it for you guys. It's a big weekend, of course. Uh, big races, both Friday and sa Saturday with the high purse money. So it's a biggest day in the year. Last year, we were here with you. You had the three Colts, of course, the, the heavy favorite, Captain Corey, who prevailed and, and gave you uh, your second Hamiltonian title. Now, this year, you, you have a filly going into it, right? But, you know, mm. she, she's, she has the ability, has the talent, a win in her elimination. How do you feel about Jiggy Jog going into that final against the boys? And, of course, one of the girls. Yeah, she is a very good horse, and uh, it was the owner who wanted to enter her in the Hamiltonian. I want to go in the Oaks, but... <laughs> Maybe you have right, and uh, it looks like she can compete against the Colts. Uh, the owner, uh, Orion Spardell, you know, uh, he invests in the Phillies. So he said, you know what, we're not going to have many chances to race in the Hamiltonian. And of course, as he as does take the route of, of buying into the Phillies. So he said, I think we have one, and let's take a shot. And that kind of was the plan, right? Yes, it was. So, oh, we see how it works out. Now, in her elimination, and of course, Dexter Dunn been doing a lot of driving for, for you and Sarah this year, and it seems to be a, a good team uh, bringing Dexter on board. Yeah, he's a good driver, and um, he has good horses also. <laughs> but, yeah, so I hope he drives her in the final. With her last week, kind of took uh, the rail route and, and just shook out and, and got a little lucky there late and, and got a spot. And, and Dexter kind of was like, didn't know if she could win from where she was, but as soon as it opened up, she said he had she had a big burst of speed and seems like she has all the tools to be effective going into the final. Yeah, I think so. She she can do everything. She can leave fast and she never break and uh, she fight also. So yeah, she have everything. But maybe if they are gonna win the Hamilton and they might, everything must be perfect and a nice trip also. Speaking of perfect, to kind of taking us from the beginning of the season to get to these this week, or these two weeks leading up into here, here into August, it's kind of like a, a tactical approach you guys plan just for everything to be specifically right these two weeks. Yes, uh, yes, uh, that was the plan. When they, she had race good every time, uh, except at Yonkers when she won the had some failures, she was a little rough gated, but uh, I think uh, the track was too hard for her that day. So. She had race good all the other races. Speaking of a hard track, one thing that you are known for is pulling the shoes in certain situations, and of course, it, when big races are on the line or throughout the year, what is the concept behind pulling the shoes at certain times? Yeah, he's a long story about that, but the, <laughs> almost <laughs> all horses can race faster without shoes. It's not just that they're light, it's all so that the, the foot works better and they the suspension is better without shoes. It, it certainly seems to pay off, right? That's for sure. Now, let's talk about the Philly baptism going into the Oaks. Uh, you said it in your in your quotes after the race. You were happy with her, but you look to see a touch more going into the final. Yes, yeah, she had, uh, she was uh, she was uh, was she in race for a couple of weeks. So I think week to week for her is uh, good, but not all horses. But for her, it's better. So I think she can race better this week. So you, like I said, you've turned over some of the driving to other guys at times, but then if you've kept driving a, a lot of the horses, of course you won it with Captain Corey last year. Mm. What do you, what kind of determines the whether you drive or whether you let the other guys drive? Oh, I own uh, a lot of horses also, so that's the reason I drive some horses. And if I don't own a piece in a horse, I have other drivers. Uh, you know, you're you're no uh, stranger to the to the Hamiltonian Winter Circle, as we've said here. But what is so ever? What would it mean to win, and of course, to win it with a filly? It's gonna be uh, great to win, of course, always to win Hamiltonian is a big 